Just because you got a hammer, don't make you a carpenter. This is Rick Jarman, Real Estate Old School. You know, today I had to go and cover for my real estate agent sales for me, Miss Danita Mims. She had a closing and she couldn't be there. So she won't know if I could do it. And I said, I don't think I forgot how. I'll go do it. But you know, the, the young couple that was buying this house, it's a new house, and uh, Danita, had, she was the selling agent. And we were talking after they were signing the papers, and of course I was bragging on Danita that sells for me, because I do think she's an awful good real estate agent. And this young man said, you know, I know a lot of real estate agents, but my parents told me I need to use her, because Danita had sold his parents a house, did them a good job. I said, yeah, I said, well, you being a lumber salesman, you know, there's a lot of carpenters out there, but they don't mean me good just because they got a hammer. Made me think about, that's what I talk about today in my video. And uh, I did tell him to go follow me on here now. I can't use his name because some of real estate agents he knows may follow me too, so we'll let him stay anonymous. But anyway, you know, there's a lot of real estate agents follow me. So this is to a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all are new followers, may not know I've been a real estate agent since 1983. Went full time selling real estate in 84 and building houses for myself and became a broker in 1986. So I've been around it a while, but I hadn't actually sold in years. Cause like I said, I think the needle has been with me close to 18 years, but there's a time in the nineties that I was fourth owner of a co op micro franchise. I was broke over 20 something agents. And I knew right then I never want to do that again because I was building and being the broker, even though I wasn't a sales manager, it seemed like I got all the calls. But anyway, this story is not about me right now. It's supposed to be about you real estate agents. And you folks that are buying houses to flip or, you know, rentals and piece of properties listed with a real estate agent, you find you a good agent that'll work good for you. Just because they got a license don't make, they make them a good agent. You know, there's good ones and there's bad ones, just like carpenters. Just because they got that license don't make them a good real estate agent. Just means they passed the test. Like I said, just because you got a hammer don't make you a good carpenter. You find somebody that'll work for you and it'll work hard for you that understands what you're wanting to do, where you're buying property to flip, or if you're buying property to buy and hold as a rental, you want somebody that will understand that, you know, what you're doing. And I will tell you this, there's, you know, y'all know I'm here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and there's been a lot of people think that everything's just really cheap down here, which it may be cheap in California, but, you know, for where we are, it is what it is, you know, sometimes. But I find deals. All the houses aren't priced like that. I look for deals. When I buy something, it's a deal. That's why I always tell y'all, you buy something, it's gotta be a deal. But remember this, if you're a person looking to buy property and you're working with a real estate agent, don't think that real estate agent's gonna present 10, 20 offers for you and you thinking you're gonna steal something if you hadn't already learned your market, find a deal. A lot of times a deal can be priced, a good price, but it can be undervalued. You got to know your market. You know, you just can't go look at a piece of property and they're asking 100,000 for it and say, well, I'm gonna buy it for 70. It may be worth 150 and you buying it for 100. Know your market, you know, because these real estate agents, they present a few offers for you, but after a they gonna say, look, this ain't making me no money. They in the business, that we all sell our time, folks. It's what you sell your time for. If you go down to the plant and you punch a clock, you're selling your time. If you're out here flipping houses, you're selling your time. If you're a real estate agent, they're selling their time. So everybody values their time. So be respectful of that when you're dealing with real estate agents and you find you a good one that work hard for you. You're going to be all right. They might find you some property and bring you some deals, but you got to know it's a deal when they bring it to you. Because, you know, their job's not to know deals. Their job is to find real estate that you'll buy under the criteria that you're giving them. But don't be unrealistic with it because they're not going to ride around and write a bunch of offers up while you're trying to learn the business. So you educate yourself too and find your good real estate agent. 
And if you're in our neck of the woods, I gotta go with Mr. Nita Mims. I think she's one of the best. She's been selling for me close to 18 years, I guess. She's like family. But today I was on the Danita Mims team. I went to that closing. Yes, I did. Because a little bit of that money stays there in the company. So anyway, until tomorrow, y'all have a good day.